Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good. My name is Ashutosh and today we are going to install Python in RHL 8. So whether you are using RHL 8 or CentOS 8, the installation process is going to be same but there are few shocks for you. So if you have been uh, more adhered to the process of using YUM then uh, you will be seeing some changes today. So I will show you what are the changes we have in the case of the RHL 8 or CentOS 8. So let's install our Python version 2 for now. So if you remember the old commands then the old commands were like first of all let me show you the version so as we can see it is RHL 8 and uh, if you remember the old commands then they were sudo yum install python and then we were sorted right so if we if we talk about the um the old commands then uh, few of them are still working and few of them will not work over here so if we talk about the python version 2 then this has been installed using the old commands but uh, not everything will be installed using old commands. So what are the new commands of installing it? So if you remember the way of checking yum version, then let's put one command over here and check what it shows us. So this will be some shocking stuff for you for now. If you are first time looking at it, so it is not yum version, it is some DNF reflecting over here. So what is the DNF now? You might be thinking, right? So basically, DNF is nothing special other than what is it? Dandified yum. So, what is dandified yum? So, basically, uh, it is a next generation yum which can be used for the installation and removal of the RPMs. So, everything is upgrading nowadays as we are upgrading from RHL 7 to RHL 8 so the yum version has been also upgraded now so rather than using um, yum process we can also use the DNF for example let me remove this particular version of python using DNF let's put the version over here so as we see this is the same version which is reflecting to us what we saw and the output of the yum command so basically it is the output of dnf what we see right now and uh, let's remove python 2 from this particular box and then we will use dnf to install the python 2 so the erase of python 2 has been done and let's edit using dnf command so as we can see the installation of the python 2 has been done so we can get inside the shell and we are sorted in this way so not everything is working using yum if i will show you right away then let me show you in this way dnf install ansible happened by so this is some shocking stuff for you for now at least because uh, in older version when we used to put yeah let's use the old command as well do you see Ansible is not at all available over there, so unable to find the match. So, if you want to install the Ansible, uh, then you need to use it using pip. So, let's install pip, and the process of installing the pip will be either you use DNF or you use um, yum. So, for now, I will use DNF. Python 2 pip so 
pip2 installation is uh, already done so we don't need to do anything much so let's use pip2 to install ansible and let's put y over here and this way we will be able to install ansible in rhl8 or oh come on So pip2 doesn't take happen why. That's why we were seeing an error. No such option as happen why. Since we are habitual of using yum, then we may see this kind of issues. So as we can see, the version 2.8.5 has been installed of the Ansible. So we are good now.